Hello. I hope all is well with you. I'm glad that you could join me. I count it a delight, um, a joy to be able to do these videos. God laid it on my heart. So it's a joy doing them because all that I do is for the glory of God. I take no glory for myself. It took me a while to get there. But I had to learn. And God showed me that you never take his glory. So the things that comes easy to you or the things that you've learned. Just know that it was through God that you were able to learn those things. Because our body can't even operate without Him. Without His help. We can't take our next breath without His help. We can't wake up in the morning without His help. So we need to know these things and to give him all the glory. Your relationship with God is very important. It's very important. And it's something that we need to take serious. We take our relationship with everyone else serious, with a friend, with our spouse, our children. All these different relationships, we take them serious. But when it comes to God, we have a habit of just pushing it back, acting like it's nothing. And I'm sure God is not pleased with that. He doesn't like that. God gave God the Father Jehovah gave us his son Jesus the Christ the anointed one he gave Jesus for us so that we can have him on the inside of us so we want to utilize everything that God put here for us so that we can be victorious. And trials and tribulations are going to come. Those are our testings. They are going to come. But we can endure it. Because the Bible calls it a light affliction. So we can endure those things. And we can press through them. we want to spend time with God just getting to know him to let him love on us he finds joy in doing that he sees us in the end product he sees us in the end so us saying that we can't do something he sees it already done. He sees the finish because he's Alpha and Omega. So he's already there at the end seeing it. We have to believe what the word says. Some, some people, they like to say that the Bible was written so long ago. How do we know it's true? How do we know it's not true? Why take the chance? You know, as I read the word, I dig into the word, I'm looking up words that I may think I know what they mean. I still look them up. 
I still look them up to get a clear understanding of what the word actually means. Especially in the Strong's Dictionary in Hebrew and Greek, I look the different words up so I can get a clear understanding of their meaning. That way I can get a better understanding of the scripture itself. And as I do this, I find that time passes and I'm like, wow, I've been studying for a while. But it's all good. It's all good. It's not a lost. It's not a lost. But once you do these things, you will see how real God is, how real the Bible is. And you will start taking those things and applying them to your life because you see that you will see that these things are real and that they help you in your walk with the Lord. They help you in your everyday walk with other people. I know being a Christian sometimes is lonely because we don't do the things that other people do, but they find joy in. We don't find joy in that because we want our ways to please the Lord. And we don't want to be a wishy-washy Christian because people see us and they know that we're a Christian. And when someone knows that you're a Christian, they really watch your character. Your character says a lot. The way you carry yourself, it says a lot to a person. So if I'm saying that I'm a Christian and people see me and they see me doing some things that they feel that a Christian shouldn't do, then it hurts them. It hurts them because they feel that, see, all these Christians, they are just hypocrites. That's how they feel. That's why when we do things, when we say things, we want to be so careful. We want to be so careful. And I've made this statement before in uh, another video just saying how I would be on the job. I would have um, people that I talk to, but... When it came to um, maybe going somewhere or something like that, you know, or um, even eating lunch, you know, I have people that I can sit with, but it's a difference than someone trying to find you to sit with you or, um, you just sit in there and there's nowhere else to sit and somebody sit with you. Um, it's a difference than somebody coming to the lunch room just to find you and sit with you. That's a difference. I had people that was, you know, very friendly to me um, and that would talk, you know, to me and everything. And, but as far as a close relationship with someone on the job, that was very, very rare for me. Very rare for me. I can think of a few people um, in different places that, you know, I considered a friend and did, you know, may have done something with or went over their house or something like that, but um, it was very hard, you know, like just, you know, fitting in. I didn't, I never fit in. 
I never fit in because God doesn't make us to fit in. He wants us to stand out. He wants us to choose the right path, to choose to do the right thing when everybody else is choosing the wrong. But he wants us to choose the right thing. And you'll be surprised at how people view you. You would really be surprised. You really would. I received an award. They were just giving out these little award um, things that, you know, just, just to give us something, you know. And I thought that was really nice. And my award was, um, if I'm not mistaken, I think it was um, like doing the right thing. And I forgot what it was because I don't think it was like a, a paper. I forgot what it was that they had given me that said something about um, doing the right thing. But I found that to be an honor. I really did. Cause, because I, I didn't think that people viewed me like that. So that was an honor. It really was an honor. And it's not that I never got in any trouble. But I would always try to go beyond. I would try to go beyond. You know, if it was something that needed to be cleaned or um, or fixed, um, something like that, and I saw that it wasn't done, I would do it. You know, just even, like, I would do things, you know, um, not trying to get someone to see me. So a lot of things I did, I did them behind closed doors, but nobody saw it. So for something that needed to be done, I just did it because I saw it. You know, picking up a piece of paper, it's just so many different things. You know, God talks to us a lot, whether we believe it or not. He talks to us a lot. And as I'm walking through a store and I see that someone knocked some clothes over, I just pick them up. I just pick them up and hang them back up. It's no big deal. Um, pushing my shopping cart to the place that's designated for that. I just do it. We just want to set a good example. I don't like it when people um, say different things about Christians. Like, look at her. And she says that she's a Christian. You know, the outside world knows what a Christian should and should not do. If they know, then we know too. And we just have to want to do the right thing. And we all make mistakes. And you know, we we don't like for people to judge us. But they're looking at us. So they do form an opinion about us. And we want them to form a good opinion. And we can't get upset and say, um, they don't need to be trying to judge me anyway. We can't get upset and say that. We just need to apologize and choose to do the right thing. Life is not as hard as we make it out to be. I really believe that we make life more difficult than what it should be. And that's where the health issues come in. 
because we're so stressed out. Now, what I do is, if there's something that um, concerning me, I just try to just put it back. I'm like, I'm not going to deal with this because the, if there's no answer, there's nothing that I can do about it, then why should I worry about it? I can't do anything about it. I just need to leave it alone. You know, I just let God handle these things. And he will give us answers. As we let him handle the different things, he gives us answers. He really does. He'll tell us exactly what to do. And then it's like, oh, wow. That's it. That's the answer. And it's just so amazing. Because we put it up on his shoulders and we're not trying to carry it. Because we wasn't meant to carry a load. We wasn't meant. So we just put it up on his shoulders and let him carry the load. He's our Heavenly Father. And that's what he wants to do. He wants to show us how much he loves us, how much he cares. So you may not fit in where you're at. Even in your family, you may not fit in. But it's okay. It's okay because God has a purpose. And he has a plan for your life. And you'll see that all things really does work out for the good of those who love him. And call it his good purpose. So let him work that work in you. And you'll see what comes out is a masterpiece. We can't do anything on our own. It's too hard. But when we do it through him, we will see it wasn't as difficult as we thought it was. Let's see what our Bible scripture says for today. John 14th chapter, 21st verse. And this is the New Living Translation. Those who accept my commandments and obey them are the ones who love me. And because they love me, my Father will love them. And I will love them. And reveal myself to each of them. Again, that's John 14th, 21st verse, New Living Translation. Those who accept my commandments and obey them are the ones who love me. See, he says that. Those people who do that loves him. They love him. It's hard to believe that someone loves you when they keep hurting you all the time. But they say they love you. But they don't show you love the way that you feel that love should be shown to you. They're abusing you. They're lying to you. That's not love. That is not love. The word says that those who accept his commandments and obey them are the ones who love him. That's saying a lot. Not that we get it all right each and every time. But we're trying. We're trying. And that proves that we love him. And then it says, and because they love me, this is the reason why. My father will love them. 
Because they love me, my Father will love them. You know when people find joy in your children, you like that. You like that. You like it when the teacher finds joy in your child. You like that. That's what this world is saying. Because they love me, my father will love them. Yes. Because that person loves your child, then you have a love for them. And I will love them and reveal myself to each of them. He said that he would love us and then he will start revealing himself unto us. It starts out with the love, with wanting to be obedient. Because the more we be un- the more we be obedient unto him, unto what his word says the more that we prove that we love him and the more that he can unveil himself to us which makes us love him even more. That's how it works. That's how it works. We accept the things that he's saying to us and then because And we obey them because we love him. Those things that he's saying to us, sometimes we feel that they are hard. Mine is just exercising. Sometimes I, I don't feel like it. I don't feel like stretching. I don't feel like hurting. Because that's how I look at it sometimes when I'm stretching. It's like I'm I'm hurting myself. I'm hurting these muscles. And I don't feel like doing that. But as I do that, I'm showing my love towards him. I'm showing my love towards him. And he's able to unveil himself unto me. I'm obeying his voice. He's unveiling himself to me. He really has a deep love for you. And he wants what's best for you. He wants what's best for you. That's why you have to listen to him and do what he would have you to do. You can't do it half-heartedly. Just do it like he's saying to do it. As you do that, you will notice that your life will change. Your life will change for the better. Because of that, just be obedient. You know, we say it to our children. Be obedient. It has to be so embarrassing to have a child that does not listen to their teacher and constantly getting in trouble. We just want them to be obedient. We we want our children to do what we say. We want our children to obey their teacher. To obey us, to obey the authorities. God set authorities in this land. Different rules that we need to obey. If we want to live in this earth, we have to obey certain rules. If not, there's punishment that comes with it. If I go zooming down the road, I can be looking for a police officer to pull me over and give me a ticket. We just have to be obedient when we first hear him. He 
excuse me. When we first hear him, we need to be obedient. It means a lot. It means a lot. It helps us. And it helps those that's watching us. When we are obedient because our life is not just for us. Like we were saying earlier, other people, they watch our life. So us and our obedience helps them as well. And we do this not um, on our own. God helps us with this. He helps us. If we feel that it's too hard, then he helps us. He helps us. You know, in the Bible and, you know, different people who even felt like they couldn't do something on their own. God helped them. He helped them to do it. He really did. And we have to know that he's there to help us also. Because he loves us and he wants us to succeed. He doesn't want us to fail in life. You don't want your child to fail. You don't want to see him fail or her fail. Even if they're doing it differently than what you would have done. Or what you have spoken to them. You still don't want to see them fail. Just because that wasn't your plan. You don't want to see them fail in life. Even though you saw it a different way. So. That's how God is with us. He wants us to succeed. At the end of this video, I always do the salvation prayer because it's important. Those who may not know Jesus as the Lord and the Savior, they need to have a relationship with Him. That's why I do the salvation prayer. So repeat after me, Jesus. Come into my heart. I know that you died and rose again just for me. I want to belong to your kingdom. I want you to live inside of me to make me new. Thank you for coming, dying, and being resurrected just for me. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for forgiving me of my sins. I want to spend eternity with you. In Jesus' name, amen. Now you belong to him. And he belongs to you. Now you are a Christian. Thanks. Thanks for watching. I love you much. And I pray for you. Have a blessed day today. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.